What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So the other day, you may have already seen, I did a full review on the new Kat Von D brow products, including the brow pencil, the brush, and the super brow pomade, which comes in traditional colors and also comes in a lot of rainbow colors. Now, originally, I only reviewed two of the bright shades because I had gone out and purchased them myself. Uh, after that video actually went up, I wound up receiving the entire collection courtesy of the team at Cat Von D, so thank you guys very much for that. I thought it would be fun to sit down and try each color of like the untraditional brow pomades on my brows and pair it with a lip that I think was kind of cool with it. Just to kind of give you guys, first of all, a picture of what these brows, the colorful brows look like, how they perform, etc., etc., and also just kind of give you an idea of like maybe how you'll wear them and like what you'll wear them with. I know that I always could use ideas for other people so I kind of like really racked my brain to think of like what I think would look cool with it. Some I think are more complimentary, some are like a little bit more out there and I think that's kind of a good thing, you know, kind of gives a lot of options. So I had a lot of fun filming this. I also did a little bit of a rainbow ombre brow at the end just for funsies because obviously I'm out of my mind. After doing 10 brows, I did one more. <laughs> so if you want to see all nine bright, non-traditional shades of Kat Von D Super Brow on somebody's brows. Just keep on watching and we're gonna go through all of them.
all nine? Is it nine colors? I feel like I want to say 10, but I'm pretty sure it's actually nine. That is all the colors. By the end of the video, I feel like my skin looked a little bit red and there was definitely some leftover color left in my brow hair, but this stuff is so highly pigmented that it didn't even really matter. It just covered up the other color. I'm probably going to have like a rainbow washcloth when I go to take off my makeup tonight. Well, I mean, I am from this anyway, obviously. What I'm saying is there's a lot of colors, a lot of layers of colors in here right now. There's a lot. There's a lot. Personally, I feel like some colors are, are more up my alley than others in this collection. I really kind of seem to lean toward the darker shades, the lighter ones. I don't really love the way they look on me because I feel like my face needs the definition of an eyebrow. I look a little, a little too alien and not in a cute way when my brows are lighter. Uh, also, I wanted to mention that for some reason when I kept seeing the brows that other people were doing with these before they were released, I was under the impression that there was a navy blue and there's really only this bright blue. Oh my God, do I wish they would come out with a navy blue. Kat Von D, your entire team, please make a navy blue one. Oh my God, it would be so good if it was a navy blue one. Also, I wanted to note that um, out of all of them, magenta seemed to be the only one that had like almost a little bit of a shimmer in it up close, which is nice because it added a little bit of dimension to the brow, but I wasn't expecting it. So figured I would let you know. I think my favorites are Aubergine, Roxy Purple, and Scarlet personally. Please feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. Also, let me know if you've tried them, what you thought of them, how they wore for you, etc, etc. And don't forget, if you do want to see a full review of how I think these perform, as well as a wear test using one of the more traditional shades, uh, I will link that down below. I put that up last week. I'll also maybe link it on the screen here if I recall to do it. I think that's all for today. I really got to go wash my face. I've got a lot of things on my face. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps me out and I would super duper appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I would love to have you stick around for more videos. Don't forget to go ahead and follow me on other social medias. I am at Miss Quinn Face across the board. Anywhere you could possibly want to find me, I am at Miss Quinn Face, but basically I'm mostly on Instagram and a little bit on Twitter. I hope you guys got a couple of ideas out of this or got to see a product before you buy it. Thanks for watching and I will see your little loonies in the next one.